Hey everyone, it's Miss Manai21, and here I am finally doing my entire Pokemon collection binder tour. As you can see right in front of me, I have all six binders ready to go. Um, I have no idea how I'm going to do this video or how long I should spend on each binder because um, even though they're organized a certain way, I don't necessarily have like stories behind every card. But I'm just going to try my best. I'm, I'm going to try to keep this as brief as possible, but while still showing my collection off. Um, yeah, so I decided to do this now rather than do it after Unbroken Bonds came out. Because also I would have to organize all those cards and it would take even longer. But also, since I am going to be doing an unboxing video of Unbroken Bonds, you're already going to see those pools, so... Let's not double it up. Let me just show you what I have now, then you'll see what I'll get then. So, first of all, I have six binders here. This is actually about... Look, that's like the, almost the length of my arm. <laughs> so this uh, bottom one is is a Sun and Moon base set all the way to the Detective Pikachu set, because I have a few of those. That's my thickest binder. The one above that is the this is all like the trainers and supporters like um all of this is just the pokemon and then this has all the trainers and supporters from base set to not detective pikachu but what's that what was the set before that <laughs> oh team up team up then this binder right in the middle this third one is all of my foreign cards this binder is all my special slash favorite cards, so like full arts, GXs, all stuff like that. There are foreign cards in this because them, like GX cards, overrules being, even though they're foreign, they're, since they're GX and up, they overrule being in here. So, <laughs> and then this binder right up here is basically, it's from base set all the way to evolutions, so the final X and Y set, because Originally, these were together with Sun and Moon, but you can see how thick that is. That wouldn't fit here. And since I somehow still managed to get older cards and X and Y cards, it was a pain in the ass to, like, um, reorganize this when I still had to do all these. Like, it's already, it's already hard enough reorganizing this, but... So I have it in two binders. And this is all promo cards. So what I'm thinking is, we're gonna start promo cards... Then we're going to do base set to X and Y. Then I'll show you all the Sun and Moon cards that I have. All the all expansions of Sun and Moon. Then do the trainer cards, foreign cards, and then save the best for last. My favorite binder. So alright, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, we're back. We're going to go ahead and do promo cards first. Also, I'm sorry if any angle gets awkward. <laughs> my setup is very strange right now. I have a laundry basket basically holding my iPod to record this <laughs> on a table because my desk is not big enough for this. So here we go. And everything is, well, promo cards are only go by number, so everything is in order by number. When we get to the later sets, they're all going to be in order by set and then number. So everything is, everything is organized. Okay. So Mewtwo promo from, I think it was the first movie. Two Pikachu promos. Entei promo from the movie. These are old cards. Unknown J, I think that was from the, um, that was a promo from the third movie as well, which I was really excited for because my first name starts with a J, so it was like meant to be. Then there's Ancient Mew. This is actually not my original one. My original one got stolen, but the one that I had left was this one, and I'm mad because I don't think you can see it on the camera, but it's actually really bent and messed up, and it's just, it irks me to this day, but... I know it wouldn't be expensive to replace, but this one is still, like, from that time, so I don't want to mess with it. So we got Latios, Latios, Torchic, Xerneas. That Xerneas begins when I was, begins, um, me buying Pokemon cards again, because I did collect the cards when I was younger, obviously, because I have from base set, but, uh, I stopped... 
around like the Gen 3 cards and I didn't collect between Gen 4, Gens 4 and 5, I didn't collect anything. I basically didn't start collecting Pokemon cards again until uh, January of 2017, literally two weeks before the Sun and Moon base set came out. So at the time, I was financially able to just keep buying cards. So you're going to see my entire X and Y collection came from those two weeks of buying cards. <laughs> All right, and here starts the Sun and Moon promos. These two are from that... Um, Lily box that came out in, that was a J Japanese exclusive that came out in the summer of 2017 and I remember I was so excited for it that I literally dropped fifty dollars for that whole box <laughs> okay and I should also mention that I am currently trying to get a master set of Sun and Moon base set Burning Shadows and Crimson Invasion so uh, you're going to see a lot of blanks like this where I have like a placeholder for what card I need. Um, there's been different rules for master sets, but I've noticed... But for me, I wanted to also get the promo cards that were released during like pre-release. So this is for the Sun and Moon base at pre-release. I'm a little upset about that because they're about to get all four of them. It's going to be like $45. So that's going to have to wait a while. And here starts, yeah, see, I have all the um, Burning Shadows uh, pre-release cards here on this page as well. Then there's two Galisopods. I love Galisopod. <laughs> I love Salazzle. I'm, um, one of my, so I have like basic goals with collecting cards. I normally just get the majority of the set and then cards that I want. But then I have mini goals such as I want all Salazzle cards. I want all the Lunala cards in English, in English. I want all the Galisopod cards. Alright, oh. I don't have a Lil and Raichu pre-release for Crimson Invasion yet, but I have the other three Crimson Invasion promos. Two Mewtwo's, because I was competitive, I was playing the competitive TCG for like two weeks. <laughs> that didn't last long. We're getting close to the end. There's like maybe one more page. Uh, yeah, here's the final page. And you all saw me un unbox that. And then there's a cute Detective Pikachu. Who else is going to see Detective Pikachu on opening weekend? Or at least on opening day? I am because I want that promo card that they're sending out <laughs> whenever you buy tickets. Or go see it that day. Okay, so that was it for my promo binder. Pretty, you know, it's exciting. <laughs> They're promo cards. Anyone get them. So next, I said we're going to move on to my older cards. So this is going to be original base set to Evolutions. And, well, <laughs> I have all my jumbo cards in here because I had nowhere else. I had no idea where else to put them. So these are all just the jumbo cards I have. Like I said, I'm trying to get all Lunala cards, so that means Jumbo cards as well. Okay, so... I'm going to show this. I have no idea how to really do this. I have such a tiny camera, and that's such a tiny space. Okay, that's not going to work. Hold on. I guess we're just going to have to... If I didn't have to film this on a TV tray with legs right there, this would be a little easier, but... Okay, anyway. We'll figure something out. You, you will see all the cards, don't worry. So, starting with base set. Holographic Hitmonchan. Everyone's favorite holographic first edition Machamp. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I might adjust the camera a little bit, so. Alright, we're back, and I think I finally got a way for it to be all on the screen. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we're already at 11 and a half minutes, this is going great. 
Okay, so I think I'm just going to kind of speed through this. You can just, you know, pause when I'm on a page. I don't really have much to say about my older cards, <laughs> so I do apologize for that. That, oh, okay. The only story I do have to say about my older cards is that I used to have, I think it was a Jungle Zapdos. It was the same set as this Raichu. Because uh, it came like in a box or something I remember I got for Christmas. I used to have it and I used to love it because at the time, that's when, you know, the birds, uh, Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos were the big, the big shots of the games. And I used to have it and someone stole it from me. And I was, I'm still upset to this day. I know it's probably not that expensive to buy on eBay, but still, it's the principle of the thing. Also, this pre-release, this Dark Gyarados pre-release, uh, that was given to me. I have, at the time, I had no idea what a pre-release thing was. So, that's always fun. Also, I did have a Blaine's Arcanine for the longest time. This is not my original one. This is uh, some something I got from a friend a couple, not a couple years ago, but like some years ago when they were giving away their collection. But I used to have this and that got stolen. Elementary kids are terrible. They steal cards all the time. <laughs> oh, and now we're getting to the Neo Genesis set. I remember as a kid... Neo Genesis was my favorite because I started playing the Pokemon games at Red and Blue, so I've been there since the very beginning. But Gold and Silver were my absolute favorites. I played Gold so much that I actually completed the, po the entire Pokedex. So when the TCG came out with all the Gen 2 Pokemon, I was so hyped. And at the time, you'll see in a different binder, spoiler alert, <laughs> At the time, my most favorite legendary Pokemon was Lugia, and I remember my mom had bought me, uh, she would ever want, every once in a while buy me a Neo Genesis pack for, like, doing good in school, just, or just out of random, and I remember, like, just praying that I would get, I would pull a Lugia card, and literally on my fourth pack in, I pulled that Lu the Neo Genesis Lugia, I was so ecstatic. I still have it, but it, like I said, it's in a different binder. Oh no, go back in please. Alright, so I didn't have too many of the Neo Gen 2 sets, or like cards. I, I didn't get to open that many, and so we're already at my Gen 3 cards, but that's not going to last very long. There's a Destiny Deoxys from the movie. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't make it a promo. They just stamped Destiny Deoxys up there. And now we've hit the Gen 6 cards. This card is a Gen 5 card, but I got it as a freebie when I ordered something online, so that doesn't count. So if you see any Gen 4 or Gen 5 cards, you'll mainly see it in the trainers. Those were either something I bought, like, um, I bought within the last year, or it was a freebie, so. Here starts the X and Y cards. That's going to be the rest of the binders, just all X and Y sets. Like I said, I got all these X and Y cards. Not, they, I didn't get them all in the two weeks, like I said, but this was, I accrued them rapidly. <laughs> I got them all, like, really around the same time before I started exclusively buying only like Sun and Moon sets or Sun, yeah, Sun and Moon packs. So not much to say here. At the time when I was buying them, I thought the X and, okay, <laughs> disclaimer or, or, you know, opinion coming in, but at the time when I was buying X and Y sets, I actually thought they looked cool, but now I've been spoiled by all the Sun and Moon expansions that I much prefer the Sun and Moon, how the Sun and Moon cards look over all of these. Though, I mean, some of them are really cool, but <laughs> now when I look at them, they're like, oh, it's okay. 
It's okay. Though, of course, my favorite types of cards in these sets are the fairy type cards because, you know, pink is my favorite color. He's still doing good on this video. Yeah. Not much to say here. I'm just trying to kind of um, just get through this part. <laughs> probably play some music over this. I hope this is okay to see. Like, I hope you can tell what cards I'm showing you, but <laughs> limited means of recording means limited quality, <laughs> and I do apologize, but I had been interested in showing y'all this for, you know, a while now. And I knew it was going to take... Oh, here we go. We're finally at um, Evolutions. I hope I'm saying the right set. <laughs> There's my favorite Mew card. It was funny because I actually bought one of these on eBay. And then, like, sometime later I had gotten this... I had gotten a pack of Evolutions. I think it was in, like, a tin or something. And I... So I opened it up and then I pulled another Mew. And I was like, well, dang. I didn't even have to buy the first one, but it's okay. Because it's a really cute card. Please turn the page. Alright. Now we're at finally at the end. And it's funny to, that I actually had pulled a uh, holographic Hitmonchan. Because I do have the original one from the original base set. And I have all the secret rares of Evolutions. The other one being that Team Rocket one. So that's base set to X and Y cards. Now we're going to move on to the biggest binder in the collection, which is Sun and Moon base set to, like I said, Detective Pikachu. Okay, so this is a really high stack of cards. Okay, so with this, like I ex briefly mentioned earlier, sorry, oh, if you see a chord, I'm so sorry. Uh, I briefly mentioned earlier, I am trying to get a master set of Sun and Moon base set, Burning Shadows, and uh, Crimson Invasion. I'm still kind of iffy about Sun and Moon base set, but I already have the binder set up like this, and I, I'm not really sure if I still want to do it, but I'm not sure if I don't, if I want to exactly stop. And if I had stopped, I would have to redo this whole binder. I don't have time for that. So, here we go. Basically, when you're going to see these placeholders, most of the time I'm just missing a reverse hollow. But. So I apologize if that gets a little annoying to see all these, but that's how I... I have actually, I have a, um... Hold on just a second. You can still see. Yeah, you can see. I have a Word document cataloging every card that I own and I also have a word document <laughs> as a wish list so I do have these cards listed in that document so I know which ones to get and I know which ones I have ordered and which ones are on the way but I also like to put the placeholder here that way I'm not constantly having to reorganize or redo the binder and also it feels so nice when I buy a card that goes in place in one of these sticky notes, it feels so nice to be able to just peel it off. <laughs> it's like, yes, I finally own it. And just for future reference, if I ever do, like, I don't know if I'm going to do exactly a binder tour again, or, you know, I'm not exactly sure what. Like, maybe in a, maybe in a couple of years do an updated version of this, but if you can let me know how to, like, improve this video or any suggestions on how to actually do this. Because I was trying to look on YouTube for bind Pokemon card binder tour ideas. 
but I didn't see any that were doing the same as me, like going through the entire collection. And I'm not exactly sure what to say, because like I said, not every card has a story. It's just, oh, I'm trying to get these packs. Let me just buy these packs. Or I'm at the store and I'm like, huh, I haven't bought Pokemon cards in a while. <laughs> So yeah, constructive criticism on binder tour videos would be great because like I said, this is my first time doing this. I couldn't really find great examples and I don't want this to be too boring, but since this is so huge, I don't, you know, just, just let me know. Just be nice about it. <laughs> and um, I'm really excited about this Eevee. That came from the, it was like that Let's Go Pikachu Eevee TCG tie-in <laughs> Pokeball tin set, whatever. I literally wanted that set because of this Eevee, because that Eevee art was so cute. But also the um, Eevee and Pikachu figure that it came with, because I love to collect the figures as well. Well, not all of them, but, you know, some of them. And, <laughs> all right, so now we're at the end of Sun and Moon Base set. Here's Guardians Rising. Sorry. Sometimes these cards are sticking out, so I have to like put them back in. All right. oh. Yeah, there's I I know that the bottom is cut off. Like you're not seeing the full cards right here. So I apologize for that. There's really nothing I can do to fix that because I can't make my camera float. <laughs> But, um, I'm trying to make sure you can at least see the picture. I know you can at least see that, so. Sorry. And like I said, every Lunala print in English, I have it, I have it so far. And if they ever release the gold card Lunala from GX Ultra Shiny, that's something I'm going to have to get. I am dreading it, but I'll get it. <laughs> Cause I have to. And now we're about to see one of the most impressive <laughs> collections. This Caterpie starts uh, Burning Shadows. I am only 17 cards away from completing the Burning Shadows Master Set. The all only ones I'm missing are a few full arts, like Pokemon full arts. I have all the trainer full arts. Our Pokemon full arts um, and a few secret rares. So, I have all of the regular Pokemon and Reverse Hollows. So you're about to see that. Also, you're about to see one of the most embarrassing pages ever, and I'll explain that in a minute. Here we go. <laughs> Two whole pages of Wimpods. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, <laughs> because I had bought three booster boxes of Burning Shadows last year in an attempt to pull a full art Guzma, which I did, and in the meantime, oh, that's another card I have to show you when I get to the final binder. Um, I did pull a Rainbow Rare Charizard. The PSA unboxing of that video of that is on my channel if you want to go watch that. <laughs> I won't, not, well, actually, you know what, it will be a spoiler, but anyway, wait, what? So, um, and I like Wimpod because I like Guzma, <laughs> so... I just could not part with any of the Wimpod cards I pulled, so I just put them all in here. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> moving on from that. These are sticking out. It's unacceptable. So yeah, when I, um, since I did buy three booster boxes of it, I had the majority of these cards. So when I had to buy the reverse hollows, I had to maybe only buy like 20 of them. Whereas, um, <laughs> Crimson Invasion, I still have to buy, like, 40, <laughs> 40 Reverse Hollows. But I never opened the booster box of Crimson Invasion. I would love to, but I just can't afford that at the moment. I'll leave my PayPal if you want to donate or if you want to give me a Crimson Invasion. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Everyone hates on Crimson Invasion, I guess, because it's not good competitively, but... It has one of my favorite characters in it, and some of my favorite Pokemon in it, so that's why I love it a lot. <laughs> that's why I have to mas get a master set of it. That's I have to do it. It's always so sad hearing people talk crap about it. 
Oh, and this row is my favorite. Of course, it's going to be a row that's cut off. But I do love Deonce a lot. And during my two weeks playing competitively, I did play enough battles that I was actually able to get... I have two promo cards. One was from a League Cup, and then one was just from uh, playing enough. But I got a reverse... Yeah, reverse hollow League stamped Deonce, and I, I adore it so much. <laughs> I'm so glad they had that in the binder. Okay, and then there's alternate art of Porygon Z. I'm not sure what to do about... I don't know, I'm not sure if I should consider alternate art to be a part of the um, master set. Because, I mean, technically, yeah, it does have the stamp on it. And, I mean, master set, there should be, like, a I guess a basic definition. And then you kind of just uh, personalize it to what you want from there. But like I said, I'm not sure how to do what to do about alternate arts. I am trying to get them just in case they do count. So uh, technically, I would have to get. <clears throat> excuse me. There is a regional promo of, well, not really promo because it's an alternate of Ace Rolla and Guzma. That, like I said, they were only distributed as regional like prizes or something. I have Guzma, you'll see him, because I, anytime anything Guzma comes out, I get it immediately, but I will have to start saving money to get that Ace Rolla, because she's technically, she's an alternate art, and yeah. So alternate arts are on my, like, are on my wish list, so. But just let me know if that's still considered master set, or if that's, like, extra stuff, because I don't know. So we're finally at the end of Burning Shadows. Here's Crimson Invasion. You're going to see these again. But after this, you won't see these sticky notes for the rest of the binder. You'll see them in a different one. <laughs> also, like I mentioned, like, like I said before, I have like small mini goals of what cards to get. Another one is um, my favorite artist. You can see down here with Gogo. Um, my favorite TCG artist is Yo Iribi, so anytime I see their card, or like, they have a small, they've only done a few card arts, so it's not that bad, but I'm trying to get all of them, because like I said, that's my favorite artist. The second favorite artist of mine is Megumi Mizutani, although she's done a lot of art, so I'm not sure if I could get every card by her, but I want to get the bulk of them. Another Pokemon I'd like to have every English print of is Jigglypuff, but... And I know Jigglypuff isn't that expensive. The only most expensive one is, I think, her Southern Island card, but that's only about... When I checked, it was only like $8. So I'm look, I'm thinking about trying to get every Jigglypuff card <laughs> as well. But I don't know. We'll have to wait, because my wish list is already 220 cards. Oh wait, I'm sorry. And then you'll get, you're gonna see it for. We're at Shining Legends. We actually were there a page ago. Uh, the only cards in my wish list for Shining Legends is just the remaining shinies that I didn't get, like Genesec, Jirachi, uh, Rayquaza, and Arceus. So there's Shining Legends. It's okay. Now we're on Ultra Prism. Lots of Salandits. <laughs> Also, I do apologize if you hear banging in the background. The trash man has decided to come now at about 2 p.m. Should have been here earlier, but it's fine. Okay, what I love about Ultra Prism 
is that you can see some of, you ha you have a uh, character cameos in the backgrounds of like the art so like Honchkrow and Sneasel you have Cyrus I'm only bringing that up because I'm still lamenting over the fact that Cyrus does not have a full art he's the only uh, team boss without a full art and I understand that his generation came before a full arts but we literally had Ultra Prism which was a Gen 4 print so I know he got a Prism card but it's not enough. Give my boy a full art, please. <laughs> I don't want, I'm sorry, I don't want to just rely on little cameos of him, please. Just give him a full art. Pokemon Company, I will give you money. I'm literally willing to spend money to have a Cyrus full art. So here's the hoping Gen 4 remakes happen, because if that happens, then a TCG set will be for that and then we'll finally get full art Cyrus. This is gonna take years and I'm not happy about that. But <laughs> There's my rant for today. I love the Cynthia cameo and that Garchomp card. It's great. And now we're on Forbidden Light. <laughs> uh, Forbidden Light is actually the very first set I got a booster box of and I remember in that booster box I pulled maybe <laughs> 75% uh, of the cards that I did want from the set, so that was great. Yeah, like, Lysander has two full arts. I don't even care for Lysander. Getsis has a full art. I don't like Getsis at all. <laughs> I love Lusamine to death, but she has two full arts. I love Guzman to death, and he has two full arts. Where's Cyrus, man? <laughs> Alright, I promise I'll stop. We're almost done with... I almost called this Ultra Prism a Forbidden Light. Fat Goat Boy. <laughs> and then now we're on to Celestial Storm, the one set that I have, like, the least memory... least amount of memory for. Um, I did buy two booster boxes and an ETB. That's what I do now. I try to get at least one booster box and the ETB because I collect the ETBs. <laughs> I have every single ETB from the Sun and Moon series, so... And with Unbroken Bonds coming out, I, will, I already have that one ordered, so... Oh yeah, I kept all these mag cargos because I remember someone saying they were good competitively and I... I kept it just in case I wanted to go back to competitive battling, but I don't think I will. But I just can't get rid of the cards, so... Also, I should have said this at the beginning of the video, disclaim... Or, why am I saying disclaim? At the, I should have said this right at the very beginning. This is my personal collection. I don't sell cards. I only um, give bulk away, but I'm trying to save bulk to get a booster box right now so anything you see here is like not for sale not up for trade so I, just to make that clear I'm probably going to put it in the description as well just to make sure everyone knows because you know we're about 34 minutes into this video <laughs> Lunala cards because like I said I did enjoy the fact that some of these, or a lot of these cards were like really old reprints, especially from the Gen 2 Neo series days. Alright, so here we are into Dragon Majesty. Um, I don't know about anyone else, but I find that I don't care that much about like the holiday exclusive sets, such as like Shining Legends and uh, Dragon Majesty. I, I guess because they're just mini and they're kind of just in the way. You can't get them individually. You have to get like a product. I don't really care for that. And I'm actually terrified. <laughs> no, that's too strong a word. I'm actually just a little concerned that they might do that with GX Ultra Shiny. Like, because they haven't, re other than like a few full arts, they haven't released any of that into English. So I'm a little worried that's, their, well, that's what they're going to do for a holiday set this year. And that's going to be annoying because it spikes the prices up. They're only limited. They're limited time things. And it's just, it's too stressful. Just let me have my cards. Please. <laughs> K 
Okay, and then now we are on Lost Thunder. I know a lot of people are lamenting over Lost Thunder because I guess it's out of print or something. How many? I got two booster boxes and an ETB for this. So I got majority of the cards. Okay, one thing, when we get through this binder, we'll be like on the home stretch because this is the biggest binder I have. I think. I think when Unbroken Bonds comes out, I'm going to have to get a different binder. I'm not even sure if that's going to fit into here. That's how, like, thick this is. Nihiligo. Nihiligo is another one that I'm trying to get all of. I just have very specific favorite Pokemon. <laughs> Tapu Lele is also another card I'm trying to get all of, but I'm still struggling because I have to get that alternate promo that came in that one $50 box that I could never afford. And then I still have to get Tapu Lele, well you'll see it in a different binder, but I still have to get Tapu Lele's full art and then the Rainbow Rare. And then there's the fear that the gold card of it will come to English, so <laughs> I'm just stressed out. Oh, we're at Team Up, by the way. So we're almost done. Oh yeah, let me know how the tag team GX is working in the in the game now because uh like I said I only played for about two I only played competitively competitively for about two weeks and that was June of last year, two thousand eighteen. So that that was before the tag team card. So I, how does that work in like the game? Does it actually like is it actually a good strategy? I know it's kind of stressful because if you lose it, you lose three prize cards. But, yeah, just let me know about that. And then, okay, final page. These are just a few of the Detective Pikachu cards. I didn't really want to get all of them because I don't want to spend all that money on an 18 card set. Uh, I just want I just wanted a couple because I know in, if I don't get any, I'm going to regret it. But I definitely had to get Detective Pikachu. Definitely had to get that Jigglypuff because that Jigglypuff's adorable. I will fight anybody who says she's not adorable. And then Ditto. But yeah, that Jigglypuff. The re well, other than the fact that I love Jigglypuff, this particular art was cute because in her eyes, her eyes are blue and they have a little gold around the her uh, pupils. That's the that's called Central Heterochromia. I have the same exact one. I have blue eyes with yeah, with gold around that pupil. So. That Jigglypuff is me. I we are one. Uh oh, yeah. This happens when you have a big, huge binder. You mess up the rings. Okay, so moving on. Home stretch. We have three binders left. This binder has all of the trainer supporter item cards from. Um, oh yeah, here I just have a, an assortment of cut packs because I like to I guess scrapbook or something but um I, I like to just keep them and like cut like put them in a book and save them forever but yeah so these are all the trainer supporter cards from base set to uh team up because I don't think Detective Pikachu has any and this was back in the day when all the energy cards were actually numbered so that was a weird thing to, to have to have in my um I have a lot of psychic what is it basic this is or no they base set I have a lot of base set psychic energy Okay, so here's all the Gen 3 ones. These are the only Gen 4 I own because I bought these because I wanted them. Because <laughs> also, they're both illustrated by Ken Sugimori, which everyone knows who he is. And I love his art as much as I love like Meg Megumi Mizutani's and Yo Iribis. So, favorite characters and then favorite artists. Yeah. And then I have a few 
or actually, I don't even know if these these aren't Gen. No, they're still Gen Six, but I like Alessa is my favorite gym leader, so I had to get her card. She doesn't have a fuller either. It's fine though. It's <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna go into it. Here's the start of the X and Y cards. Not much to say here. There's my boy N. Alright, so. Then here's Evolutions. Here's that this secret card. Then starting here, Sun and Moon. Base set of trainer supporter cards. I'm not sure what to call them, I guess. I guess they're train. It's fine. You know what I'm talking about. I need a lot. Like I said, I need a lot of reverse hollows. <laughs> And now you're about to see another funny page. Uh, I have a lot of Aether Paradise conserva yeah, conservation areas because I did use them. Um, when I played competitively, I used a lot of grass type Pokemon because my deck was centered around Golisopod GX. So that was actually, that was, that helped me. And Alter the Moon helped me when I played a, what was it? Ultra Necrozma and Malamar deck. That actually got me a few games. <laughs> oh, so, Guardians Rising wasn't that big. Well, I don't have that many cards, but... Now we're on to Burning Shadows. You're about to see the second funniest page ever. <laughs> it's your boy, Guzma! <laughs> like I said... Three booster boxes plus packs. I kept every single Guzma that I've ever got, and it led to this. All right, sorry, I got interrupted. Um, yes, this is that regionals uh, alternate art I was talking about. Uh, I I didn't. I don't know if there was any one that said like first place or something place or whatever, but. I got one of them, it counts. <laughs> so, and then there's Plumeria, my other love. I don't have as many cards of her as I do as Guzma, which is very sad. They have to be equal. <laughs> then here's uh, Crimson Invasion. If I ever had a box, I'd probably I kept I would keep all the lucibines. So I have quite a few lucibines now, but I never I never got a box, sadly. This is going to be an expensive card to get because Cynthia is at an ex, at an insane price. I don't understand. Oh yeah, I do have Cyrus Prism. He is missing from this area, but he's just in a different binder, but So you'll see, but <laughs> Oh, that's sticking out. Now we're at... Uh, oh, sorry. We're at for, Forbidden Light? <laughs> you forgot the name of the set? Okay, anyway, yeah, we're here. We're at Forbidden Light. I'm mad about Lady because she has a really cu uh, cute full art. That was not released in English for whatever reason. I have no idea what the reason is. There was no reason for it in my opinion. But, um... See, there she is, full artless. Then, here we go. This mysterious treasure is something I won at a League Cup that I attended. So that was actually really good considering at the time I was using... Well, no, I used my Golisopod GX deck when I was in the league, but I also did have Ultra Necrozma and Mal- I did use Ultra Necrozma and Malamar deck, like, not in the league, but like, that's my secondary deck, so that worked out a lot. Too bad I don't play competitively anymore. Um, so now Celestial Storm. I kept the copycats because I heard she was competitive, but as I've said, the Masked Royals full art 
makes me angry. I, I don't know if he's ever going to get an English version, but the Japanese version one is insane. There's no reason for it. <laughs> There's Dragon Majesty. There's only a couple of those. Uh, now we're at Lost Thunder. I can't wait for Aether Foundation Employees Full Art to come. It came out in GX Ultra Shiny, but it hasn't come out in English yet. I don't know why. There's Morty, one of my other favorite gym leaders. Now we're at Team Up. Dana, she's my favorite battle Chatelaine. I speak French, but I still don't know if I'm pronouncing Chatelaine correctly. <laughs> and then, that's the end of that. Two binders left. Next, we are going to do my foreign cards binder. Um, so I have a lot of old foreign cards, which I have no memory of how I obtained. <laughs> um, a lot of these were just given to me. I actually, okay, so here we go, in order. This, um, Dark, what's his name? Dark Dragonite is actually a German one that one of my friends literally just gave to me because they knew I'm part German, so they're like, here, have this. And I said, okay. Uh, this Giovanni's Meowth, I got it as a freebie from ordering something on eBay, so that was cool. This, um, so other than that, everything on this page, I had gotten it when I was much younger. So, um, this for Alligator, I actually traded it with one of my friends. Uh, I traded the English version of it. So I originally had the English version, but now I have the Japanese one. I have, I mean, it's the same card, just different language, and I, I don't know, I was just like, okay. <laughs> so then here's a few more. Like, like I said, I was just kind of given these cards. I don't really remember how I got them. This Zangoose is a freebie. And then starting from this Pokeball to... Um, to a couple pages from now. These are in French. Uh, it was a French set that I bought last year. It was one of, one of the Heart and Gold... Heart, heart, heart and Gold... Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver sets. Uh, I don't know the English name, but I know the French name was in, Indomptable. Indomptable, I think. Um, all I just remembered that I wanted, I wanted it because it's French, because like I said, I study that language. I study Japanese as well, like professionally, to be a translator, so. I really love foreign cards. I want more French cards, but they're always really more, they're more expensive than English and Japanese, like on eBay, and it's ridiculous. But anyway, en enough lamenting. I I've lamented a lot throughout <laughs> the Spider Tour. So these are all in French, and I can read and understand them, so. <laughs> That's always good. And I was surprised I pulled this one because that's a secret rare. So, uh, these three cards were freebies. Then I absolutely had to get a Japanese Team Skull Grunt. Uh, as it says here, scouted on no Stappa. Oh god, that was embarrassing. Why did I do that? Anyway, um, this Korean Machuk was a freebie. And then starting here, I have, I've bought the Korean booster boxes of Darkness That Consumes the Light and To Have Seen the Battle Rainbow, respectively. Those two sets are the Japanese, or are the English translation of the Japanese sets that make up Burning Shadows, if that's not confusing. So basically, I bought the entire Burning Shadow set in Korean. Well, not the... You get it. You get it. <laughs> you get it. And, uh, yeah, because I know the Korean cards have, are, are the lowest quality compared to English and Japanese, but you can't beat a $20 booster box that gives you the same amount of cards as Japanese. Like, I know the pool, the pools aren't, you're not guaranteed to have good pools, but still. I got, like, majority of the re regular rares. and Look, I got a rare, hollow rare Deonsi in Korean. There's Pumeri in Korean. You've actually, wait a minute. <laughs> You've actually watched me unbox this. <laughs> I'm so slow. 
Okay, so this was, all of this was from the, um, the, to have seen the Battle Rainbow set. This next one is still Burning Shadows, but it's from the Darkness That Consumes the Light set. Had to keep the wind pods. And of course, there's your boy, Guzma. Or I th in Korean, I think it's pronounced like Gujima or something, because they don't have a Z sound. So starting here is now the Korean version of Ultra Dimensional Beasts, which made half of Crimson Invasion. So I didn't buy the entire Crimson Invasion version in Korean, I just bought half of it because one of my favorite characters is Lusamine, and I only just wanted the version that had Lusamine. <laughs> so, here's all that. And here's Lusamine. Or I think in Korean it'd be Rujamine. Because, once again, no Z sound. Well, it's spelled in that, but anyway. Starting with this Oddish is now the Japanese version of the same exact sets you just saw because as I said uh, Burning Shadows and Crimson Invasion are my favorite sets and Sun and Moon base actually you know what my top three favorite sets are Burning Shadows, Crimson Invasion, Sun and Moon base set I am looking into getting the Korean and Japanese version of I think the moon version half of the sun and moon base set. I don't want both sun and moon. I just want the moon half because it has Team Skull Grunt in it. But <laughs> I'm looking into getting that. That's going to be a while. That's kind of at the bottom of the goal list. Because Japanese booster boxes can be about $40 to $50. The Korean ones are 20 but, you know, not everyone's got money to just throw right now. <laughs> And of course, two Deonces, Pumeria, all the Wind Pods. So I know that the. There's my boy, Guzma. I know that the Japanese cards are the best quality, and you know what? They're just so pretty, and they feel so nice in your hand. As weird as that sounds. And then there's my Lusamine. Now this starts my GX Ultra Shiny box, which you did see me unbox. It's on the channel if you have not seen it yet. <laughs> that was a fun box to open. And it's funny because it was only about three months ago and I have no memory of even opening it. <laughs> Other than I pulled on my own... Well, never mind. And from that... Guzma, Mirafoil Guzma, Cynthia, Mirafoil Cynthia. This this card cost me, this card right here cost $18 by itself. Okay, I apologize. I have had some tech, technical difficulties. My uh, iPod that I'm using to record ran out of storage, so I had to quickly get that, uh, the first part of the video onto my computer. And now we should be good. I've deleted everything it doesn't need. So I should be able to finish the video. Of course it was when I had like 1.4 binders left. But anyway, I believe the last thing I was talking about was the mirror foil cards. And I just want to show off, you know, how pretty they are in the light. Like look over here with Lucamine. Stop. Like they're gorgeous. So yeah, worth the price. Okay, anyway... With this, Bulbasaur starts the Korean version of the GX Ultra Shiny box that I did open up on my channel, so if you'd like to watch that unboxing, it was the second most recent unboxing I've done. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go through these cards real quick. Now, um, I've mentioned before that Korean cards are about the lowest quality between Japanese, English, and... Well, yeah, Korean. Um, and... Yeah, people lament about that, and I get it, because when I um, 
organized these cards and stacked them up before I put them in the binder when they were stacked up they started to coral co sorry I can't they started to coral a little bit so like instead of being straight like that they started bending like this I have no idea why like I didn't do anything to them and like I said they were stacked and they just started to coral I can't say that word I'm sorry the curl there um Ever since I put them in the binder and they've been lying flat, they've gotten better, but they used to, these little pages used to be like puffed up because they were, they were both just sit like this. It was horrendous. I hated it. <laughs> so I'm glad they've managed to uh, flatten a little bit. I have no idea what caused that. All I know is that it was annoying. So that's almost done. And um, I didn't know what to do with these energies. I didn't want to get rid of them because they're nice and pretty. So I just said, screw it. I'm going to go ahead and put them in the binder with it. And then finally we finish off with the Guzma from Night Unison. Um, Cynthia from Double Blaze that I still have to wait till the end of May to get, which is very sad. But I hope she's still only going to be like $10. And right here is going to be the Lusamine card from Sky Legends, which was released technically yesterday in Japan. I have already ordered it. It was only like five bucks, so it's gonna be about two weeks-ish till it goes in there, but yeah. All right, we are finally done with the foreign binder. We have one binder left, and it's my most favorite binder. It's my most prized binder. It's my most expensive binder. <laughs> so yes, we hold the first page. We're just gonna cover loose me real quick. <laughs> um, so here's my obsession page. The very first page is gonna be is Guzma and Plumeria because they're both my favorite characters, and I both ship them dearly. I ship them both dearly. Um, I'm still waiting on whenever the English version of this card is going to be released because, like I said, it was released in GX Ultra Shiny, the Japanese one, and we don't know if we're getting that set as our holiday set. I sure as heck hope not because his price will be jacked up just because of how hard it will be to get. I, I already spent about... I spent about $60 on this card and I had to haggle with the seller just to get it down to 60 when his card is really only worth like about 45 but whatever, it's fine. So all these I bought, all these plumeries I bought, and so these two, these two are English, these two are English, this is the whole Japanese column. Then the second page is Cynthia and Cyrus, more of my favorite characters. These Cynthia's were, in, were a pain to get. <laughs> this Japanese version cost about 50 one of these Cynthia's cost me 73, the other one cost me about 66. So this page, this page already is expensive. And I remember during my competitive, my two weeks of competitiveness, I had used two, I had used these two full arts in my league. And one of the proctors was going through my deck to make sure it was, you know, legal. And I had the cards I said I did. <laughs> He saw my two full art Cynthia's and he looked at, he paused, he looked at me, he says, well, damn, you're loaded. I was like, no, no, I'm not. I still am not, <laughs> but then here's the Cynthia full art from GX Ultra Shiny. At the time when I got it, this card cost me a hundred dollars <laughs> and it hurts my soul to go on eBay and see that it's now less than a hundred, but whatever, I got it. I hope the English comes out soon, but at the same time I don't because it's still going to be expensive and why are these cards so expensive? <laughs> then here's the Cyrus Prism that I mentioned earlier. It's here until he gets a full art. When he gets a full art, I'll replace it and put this back in the regular binder, but he's here. Two English, one Japanese, like I always do. Um, for my favorite characters, I will get English and Japanese, so... Or as many versions as I can get. So now, the next prettiest page is all of my Lusamine cards. Still, two Englishes, Japanese row. Not much to say here. 
I absolutely adore all the art on this page, especially this one. This is by Yo Iribi, and that's by Megumi Mizutani, so that's like both of my favorite artists. Art artists. <laughs> Both of my favorite artists right there. So I adore this art. Okay, now from here, everything is going to be in order. So this is a Mew promo that I had gotten for my one of my birthdays when I was a kid. And I cherished this card because my parents like bought it specifically for me. I at the time I thought it was it was really expensive and really rare, but now I realize it's not. And it's not even the hollow version, but Whatever, it's special to me. This is the Lugia from Neo Genesis that I told you that I pulled that is really special to me. These next two cards, Pikachu and Jigglypuff, are from the Build-A-Bear workshop because my girlfriend bought me basically the Pikachu and the Jigglypuff plushies from, from there and they came with the cards. So those are special to me too. Then we have, this is Tornadus, uh, Japanese Tornadus EX. Uh, it was a freebie card that I got when I ordered something, so I just stuck it in here. Reshiram. So I've mentioned before, I don't like Lysander at all. <laughs> but I had to get his full art, because this is illustrated by Ken Sugimori, so that was just like a... I, I had to do it. It wasn't that expensive, though. It cost me like $8, so... Then we have Gengar, because Gengar is actually my favorite Pokemon. Then we had Lysander's Trump card, because it's a banned card. I wanted it just because it's banned. <laughs> and it was only five bucks, so... Okay. Um, now, I have Primal Groudon EX here. Only because when I was redoing, when I was reorganizing this binder, uh, the way it was before, Archie and Maxi would be separated, and I didn't want that because I shipped them. So I literally was just like, okay, let me just buy Groudon. I haven't gotten it yet because it's about, when I checked, it was like 9 or $10. And I was like, eh, at the time, I didn't really have 9 or $10 to spare. But uh, I did pull this by myself. I didn't buy that. I pulled that. So I guess I can always tell you which cards in this binder I pulled, which ones I bought. I mean, not for every single one, but I'll at least point out which ones I bought. Because a lot of this I just pulled randomly. Um, Giratina is, is one of my other favorite legendaries. Like Lugia, Giratina, and Lunala are my fa three favorite legendaries. Oh, and Necrozma, so four. There's four. <laughs> Hex Maniac, because she's cute. Um, Alright, next page. Steven, because he's one of my three favorite champions. My favorite is Cynthia, then it's Deontha, then it's Steven. So then, here's all of my just EXs and stuff that I pulled when I went through my really crazy buy Pokemon cards right now phase. Uh, the One of the N full arts, because at the time, that was back when N was still competitively viable and I wasn't going to pay $100 for his full art, even though I spent, you know, yeah, I have no excuse. Um, okay, so, Decidueye GX starts Sun and Moon base set. You're going to see a bunch more of the sticky notes again, because they're just placeholders. Fun story about Kukui Full Art. Um, so when Sun and Moon Base Set came out, was it February third, two thousand seventeen? I went to that. I went to Target and bought like two packs of it because I had to, I had to get it on opening day. I pulled that uh, Full Art Kukui in one of the packs on opening day. Like that's a sign. That's how I knew. I was like, oh, this is really pretty. This is really cool. Then of course Team Skull Grunt. Then, of course, another Team Skullgrunt, and then the Japanese version. And this placeholder is for the French version, which I did order, so I'm just waiting on it. I did order it a few days ago, so it's going to take about uh, just under two weeks to get here. So, actually, it's going to take about two weeks, because that seller... Three weeks, I'm sorry. It's gonna, that seller is on vacation until next week. But, yeah, I did order it. It will be there. So, now it's just the rest of the... Um, 
rainbow rares and secret rares I need. Ultra Ball I pulled myself out of a tin, no less. So that was cool. <laughs> now we're on to uh, Guardians Rising. I do have one Tapu Lele. This Tapu Lele, at the time when I got it, it cost me $34. But now she's down to like 16 17 which is still kind of a lot. But at least her full art and... Um, her full art's at like 20 an hour. And her rainbow rare, I saw it at like 25 to 30. So I'm glad it's went down a lot. But still gotta get it. I have all the full art trainers. Oh, which reminds me of a goal that I'm trying to do. I'm trying to collect all the full arts of all the Alolan characters. So like I had Lily. So like you saw here, I have um, Ilima, Lily, Kukui, the Grunts, Hala, Hao, Malo. So yeah. So far, I have all of them that have been released. Uh, I know Molane will be an Unbroken Bond, so I hope to pull that. But if not, then I'm definitely going to, you know, buy it. So. Galisopod GX starts Burning Shadows. I have two in English. I have a Korean. I have another Korean version, and then I have the Japanese. Then Charizard GX, same, it's English, Korean, Japanese. I'm sad that I didn't get any foreign salazzles, but it's fine. Necrozma, English, Japanese. Japanese Alolan Muck, Japanese Gardevoir. Three English Neuvern GXs, one in Korean and one in Japanese. Very frustrating, I don't care for Neuvern, I'm done with Neuvern GX's. Then here starts the Full Arts. I'm missing still Necrozma Full Art, Machamp Full Art, and uh, Mars Shadow Full Art. This is a Japanese one right here. Then I have all of the Full Arts, <laughs> uh, the, tra the character Full Arts. This Guzma right here is the French version, which I have, I have it ordered. I'm just waiting on it. Um, then there's Kiave. I pronounce it Kiave because I did read once in Hawaiian. W's, yeah, they can be pronounced normally, but if they're followed and preceded by a vowel, then it makes more of a V sound. So I know people do say Kiawe, but I have heard and read that it should be Kiave. So, you know... I don't, I don't correct anyone that says Kiawe, but don't correct me if I say Kiawe. But anyway, <laughs> regular Plumeria, another Japanese Plumeria, and here's the French Plumeria. Um, really excited about that. I love Plumeria a lot, so that's why I have multiples of her card. Oops, sorry, just checking the video. Sophocles that I pulled. Wick. Now. So I have Rainbow Rare Galisopod. Need Bulu. Then I have Rainbow Rare Salazzle. Between Tapu Bulu and Salazzle is supposed to be the Rainbow Rare Charizard GX. It's not in my binder because it's right here. So yes, I do have it. It's just, it's always forever going to be preserved. Um, in a PSA acrylic case because I pulled this. It's a Gem Mint 10. It's beautiful. And I actually have it on my shelf. So... But yeah, I do have it. This is proof. And really, having this card is the only reason I decided to get a master set of Burning Shadows because I already pulled the most expensive card because I think this is 150 just by itself. Um, last time I checked, I mean, I could be incorrect now. Last time I checked, a PSA graded 10 version of this card is like $600. But no, I'm not looking to sell it. I don't care if I'm out of money, starving, I'm never going to sell it. <laughs> then, just a whole page of rainbow rares that I need to get. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm hoping to be done with Burning Shadows by mid-June or the end of June, so... Yeah. I have some of the secret rares, I just need these four secret rares. So I've actually pulled the only one... Oh. This escape rope is Japanese, by the way, so that's why you see it right here, too. 
The only one I've pulled out of these is the darkness energy. And then here's the fairy energy. So yeah, almost done with it. I'm very excited. Now we're moving on to Crimson Invasion. Two English Nihiligos and then two Japanese Nihiligos. Reg English Guzzlord, Korean Guzzlord, Japanese Guzzlord, and then the alternate art GX I'm trying to get. Uh, Alolan Executor... Alolan... Alolan Executor GX in English, Korean, and then Japanese. I have, for at least for Crimson Invasion, the main cards I need of the... that would go in this binder are full art. I, would, I just need the full arts of the Pokemon. I have most of the Rainbow Rares at least. So as you can see, because like I need uh, a Gyarados, Gyarados full art, Alolan Golem, you see it right here. I really just have Nihiligo and Savali. Then we have Gladion, Lusamine that I actually... Oh, that's one thing I meant to mention earlier. This Guzma right here is the one that I pulled myself in, in the box when I got the boxes. So that was a very exciting day. I actually, when I pulled it, I literally jumped up from my chair and I ran through the house screaming. I was home alone, so don't worry. Now this Lusamine I pulled, and actually, I really, really love this one because it's, um, it's off-color. Like, I think they were running out of ink when they were printing this. So let me, I'm actually gonna mess up my thing to show you. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell... This Lusamine is very off color. She's very light. I don't think you can see it right now. But I think maybe the printer ink messed up when they were printing this. It was just I, a random pack that I bought. Uh, one day is a feel bad pack. And I, it was funny because I actually pulled a regular Lusamine. Then it was this full art. But yeah, she's really different, off colored. And I adore her. That's for the French version. Already ordered. Then we have Olivia. Then we have like the bulk of the uh, Rainbow Rares. These three, Gyarados, Kartana, and Olol and Executor, I've actually pulled myself out of random packs that I bought at Walmart. So that was very shocking. <laughs> then I have three versions of the Water Energy Secret Rare. English, Korean, and Japanese. Like how weird is that? <laughs> then we start... Then we have Shining Legends, then we have Ultra Prism, I forgot the name, I do apologize. Just a couple of cards I need there. Uh, Necrozma is also another Pokemon I'm trying to get every card of, so that means Duskmane Necrozma counts. Trying to get a couple full arts, I have to get Gardenia. Uh, I want another, <laughs> an Ultra Prism Lusamine full art. Then here's the French version, this is coming in the mail at least. At least, so. Then we have... I need that Dusk Main Rainbow Rare. Here's the Lunala Gold card that I paid about $50 for at the time. I absolutely needed it. And I am scared for when the new gold card comes out. If it ever comes out in English. Then we have Starting Greninja GX, which you saw me pull. Uh, Forbidden Light. There's my Ultra Necrozma GXs that I had to use for for my Ultra Necrozma Malamar deck. There's Deontha. These, this, uh, um, Forbidden Light had some really, really pretty full arts like Naganadel, Eveltal, Dialga, and Xerneas, and Ultra Necrozma. They're just gorgeous. Like, the colors just all work together. I really like looking at them. Oh, and another mini goal. I collect all of the fairy type full arts because pink is my favorite color and I like the how the pink looks. So I have... I'm only missing one fairy type and you'll see which one that is. Then you'll see why that is. Ultra Recon Squad, Japanese version. I'm so upset that they kind of just lumped them all together but only put Dulce and Zossi. Instead of giving all the Ultra Recon Squad like their own cards, so they so you could also have like Fico and Soliera, like there was no reason for that. I'm so ups the Ultra Recon Squad was supposed to be so cool, but they just got swept under the rug and forgotten, and it's so sad. Like they they could have had more, but they have nothing, and it's okay. It's not okay. Then, 
Then we're at a Celestial Storm. Um, funny thing about my two booster boxes when I opened it. Uh, when I started opening it, my very first pack out of the very first box I did open, which you will see in the next page, a full uh, a Rainbow Rare Rayquaza when I thought I would never get it. So in both boxes, I managed to pull a whole place out of Rayquaza, which you see regular GX right here, full art, and then the Rainbow Rare. I pulled all of that from two boxes when I thought I was never going to get it at all. So then there's Dragon Majesty, and then there's the Ultra Necrozma Gold card. I was so shocked with this because for the longest time it it was at about a hundred thirty dollars on eBay. Um, one day I just went to go look at it. The price had dropped down to seventy, so I snatched that so fast. So after that we have Lost Thunder. Lost Thunder was really cool because I really love Bliss. I I really liked Blacephalon, and I managed to pull all three versions of Blacephalon, so the regular GX, the full art, and then the Rainbow Rare. I pulled Mimikyu GX. Alolan Ninetales GX is the one that I'm missing that has the fairy background. Uh, I was kind of staying away from it for a while because it, for the longest time it was about 40 and I didn't really want to spend $40 on that card, but I think now it's down to 20 so I might get it soon. Last, well, at least last time I checked it was at uh, 20 so. Then we have Lugia, Mina, Morty, Mina, Mina and Kahili, and Faba, because they're Alolan characters. I did not want to buy Faba. I did not. I don't like Faba at all. But I had to do it because he's an Alolan character. That's the only reason why I have him. Um, Morty, because like I said, he's one of my favorite gym leaders. This Reshiram GX starts the Japanese GX Ultra Shiny. There's the Evelyn I pulled. There's this Shiny Curlia and Shiny Mewtwo I pulled. I did end up going to buy Shiny Wimpod and Shiny Galisopod. Because like I said, I don't know when these are coming out in English, if at all. And I really love Wimpod and Galisopod, thanks to Guzma. So, yeah, I just went ahead and bought them. They weren't expensive, though. I think all together, these two had to have been like $12 to $15 like both put together. So it wasn't that bad. Then this Reshiram GX is from the GX Ultra, uh, Korean GX Ultra Shiny, which you saw me unbox. So shiny Scyther, Scyther, shiny Buzzswole, and shiny Bayonet. Then we have Celebi and Venusaur GX starting off team up. Gengar and Mimikyu, favorite card. The rest of them. I really love this Hoopa card. The art's cool. I like Hoopa, so. Uh, I'm still trying to get... This is the only Gengar and Mimikyu card I have. I'm still trying to get the other three. So the full art, the alternate art, and the rainbow rare. I don't like that there's four arts for tag team cards because if I like the card, I'm going to want to get all four. And that's just... We already had to do with the rainbow rare. Why did you have to put an alternate art? <laughs> but anyway, I'm doing it for Gengar. I hope to get it soon, but right now I think all three cards are hovering around like $20, so that's kind of a little out of my price range at the moment. I want the Latios and Latios GX alternate art, the ones where they're kind of like looking at each other sad. It looks like it from the movie, because it's a beautiful card. <laughs> Dana, my favorite battle shadow in. Evelyn, I actually pulled her from the Team Up ETV. I didn't film that, but... I pulled her myself, and I was like, wow, that saved me about $10, because I want to get all four full arts of the Battle Shadowlands. There's Nanu. Sabrina's suggestion, because I just like the, like, I like the look of the card, and yeah. So, finally, we're done. <laughs> we're done with all of my entire binder tour, my entire collection of 3,700 and something cards. Uh, I really thank all of you for watching this, especially if you had the patience to watch all this. Um, I'm not sure yet how long this video is going to be because I still need to edit it, 
but it's probably going to be an hour. So like I said, I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next week for the Unbroken Box... Unbro unbroken Boxing. Unbroken Bonds... Unbroken Bonds Unboxing video. Alright, thank you. See you later.